fourth window from the right, in the back aisle, on the tabernacle side, St. Pius V. Born Michael Ghisilari in Bosco, near Alessandria, Italy. St. Pius V became a Dominican, served as master of novices, and was elected prior of several Dominican houses. He was a model of piety and austerity. He gained a reputation for defending the faith. He opposed not only the heresies of the day, but also policies he considered mistaken. For example, he worked to defeat the efforts of German Emperor Maximilian II to abolish ecclesiastical celibacy. Pope Paul IV named him Inquisitor General of all Christendom in 1557. After Pope Paul IV died, he was elected Pope and took the name Pius V. As Pope, Pius's most important concerns were combating threats from Protestantism in Europe and Islam in Asia. Because of his concerns, he rallied support for what was supposed to be the Last Crusade by ordering public prayers in support of this cause. On October 6th and 7th of 1571, after all in the Christian fleet had received the sacraments and all had said the rosary, they engaged the enemy, the Turks, and won the famous Battle of Lepanto. In commemoration of this victory, he established the Feast of the Rosary on the first Sunday of October, now the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary on October 7th. He is pictured in our window with the triple-crowned headpiece that looks like a beehive, called the Papal Tiara, and he is holding the Papal Staff with its three crosses. He is often seen with a rosary or a fleet in the distance. Incidentally, Pope John Paul II's papal staff was also that special crucifix. St. Pius V is the patron saint of Bosco Marengo in Italy.